Bulls. Um, could have played a lot better. We hear that every week, but um, our guys found a way to win the ball game. Um, again, I think we, we're seeing our football team, a team that don't flinch when things get tough and keep playing. But, uh, we don't want to continue to play like that. We've got to play so much better. But I guess it's, it's a bad thing you have four turnovers, but I guess it's a good thing we still can score 42 points and win the ball game and four tur turnovers. But uh, we have to be so much better. Take care of the football, the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, I thought our guys played outstanding, uh, holding them on the 100 yards rushing. And, uh, I thought our guys were really aggressive on the defensive side of the ball. Coach Woody uh, did a great job dialing up the blitzes, and, and our guys get to the quarterback. So we wanted to do, and they did a good job with that. It's 370 total yards, five touchdowns, and it's almost like it's another night at the office for him. Should he be getting more national recognition? Um, I think a lot of our guys should, but you know, we'll earn that. You know, we're not going to ask anybody for it. We're going to earn it and we just continue to play well. And he'll get that, but he is one of the best ones out there. Um, you look around, unfortunately, he don't get all the hype like some of them, but I guarantee if you watch what he does, I mean, he, he's doing better or, or, or he's just like the rest of us out there, but he's one of the top dual brick quarterbacks in this country, if you ask me. Um, some of the things he do out there, like playing a video game, you know, um, it was great. And not only do he run, not only do he run and throw touchdown, he also lead, be a lead blocker. I mean, that's twice this year. He you know, um, had a nice block to help the running back score, so he, he's a winner. You know, he tried to find a way, and he loves playing the game, and he tried to find a way to help his football team. How much of a relief was it to get your six wins tonight so so early in the season? One less thing to worry about. Was it honestly on your radar coming into tonight? Or? Oh, it was great to get that next win. You know, that was that that next win. You know, each week we try to go one and zero, and we got a short week this week to try to do it again. You know, um, that's been our mindset all, all year long. It's taking one game at a time, and it's never been our our, our goal is just to become bowl eligible. So uh, it's great to be bowl eligible uh, now. And means we're winning some ball games this time of year, but um, we're having something much bigger than just no eligibility. But um, it's great to be six and one. That was the first time holding an opponent to under 100 yards rushing. What what can you say about the defense in that regard? Uh, I did a great job. Um, talking to our guys all week long, how I'm tired of hearing people talk about our defense and our we can't stop the run and we can't do this and that. To go out there and show them that we're capable of doing those things. You know, we, we had one bad game, a really bad game, which makes it look like we can't stop the run. You know, but our guys have done a good job stopping the run throughout the year, except for one game. And that one game makes it look like we can't stop the run because of it. giving up 300, uh, 200 yards rushing the game. A lot of that came from that four state game. We had three games worth of rushing yards. So you take that game away, you guys have been playing well. And I thought tonight they played aggressive like we want to play as a football team. We want to be that way defensively and offensively. Coach, that first run by Quentin Flowers to get your first score, uh, it kind of like you said, the L1 button. Uh, yeah, talk yeah, about that pressed, run. He pressed them all. You know, <laughs> run, triangle, circle. <laughs> he did them all. It was like a cheat code. Yeah, there on that play. I was, again, uh, it's fun to watch. You sit back and like, oh, take the ball, get down with him. Great job, Quinn. <laughs> you know, it's, but that's him. You know, I think the kid got eyes in the back of his head. You know, so many things he do. But it was, it was a great one. It was a great run. Four out of the six touchdown drives, less than two minutes, three and under a minute tonight. You talk about the quick strike uh, capability of the offense. Uh, that's us. That's how we want to be. You know, we, we golf coast offense is what we do. Our nickname will be. Two minutes. It comes two minutes. You know, we always in two minute mode with our guys. But um, again, I, I think you look at the guys and why they don't flinch because they also know that they can score fast. You know, they know they can go out and, and do the things that you know they're capable of doing. And that helps your team. I think that helps with your confidence overall. You know, then when you can't score fast, you can't do those things. That's when you start to get guys to start to get a little division from within defense on the offense to go uh, or offense on defense to do so. But since, I mean, for four, for four turnovers, I heard a lot of our defensive guys, okay, well, he got to be all right, you know. 
Well, that's great when the defensive guy said, you know, they confident that our guys go back out and go. But, um, that's what we expect. Coach, what was it like watching Mitch's uh, touchdown catch there? That was a grown man catch. I told him that was big boy ball there, Mitch. You know, you go up and uh, that's how you make your quarterback look good. You know, um, and, and it was it was a big league catch. You know, but that's that's Mitchell Wilcox. You know, he's 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 a dude. <laughs> that, was, that was a big time play. With Mitchell playing, okay, and still, and he dressed and didn't play. Was, was he close to? I mean, he dressed. But was he he could have played if we needed him to. He could have played. Uh, he's not a hundred percent, but he could have played if we needed him to. Great that we didn't need him to play in this ball game, but he could have won. He practiced this week. What about Ronnie not in this No, we wasn't going to play Ronnie in this game. You know, uh, hopefully a, a week off to really help him. Uh, and be, hopefully he'll be back with Temple again this week. Marlon Mack, career uh, all time leader in rushing touchdowns now, another accolade for him. Uh, just thoughts on that and how far can he take it, do you think? Disappointing, he didn't get 27. Proud of Mac uh, breaking that record and, uh, and all of his accomplishments. You know, but uh, yeah, I think Marlon will be the first one to tell you that that means a lot to him right now. He'd rather have a perfect game and not turn the ball over and did all those things. But uh, again, proud of Marlon and the rest of our guys. And I uh, just hope he continues to add on to him and make it tough for anyone who comes behind him and uh, get it. So Marlon had six catches tonight. What did you guys see in film this week that made you think? Him into the game. Well, um, we just felt like athletically we were a lot better than the linebackers. But Marlon had tried to get him this match with the linebackers at the time to allow him to run past him and, and uh, make some plays for him. You know? So um, a couple of those throws down the field was more of just trying to um, get a mismatch on the linebackers. Third quarter, you had back to back uh, possessions with, uh, with turnovers. Just speak to that that transition there where they were able to score twice off of those turnovers there and how you guys were able to uh, just kind of recuperate from that? Uh, again, every turnover is bad. I mean, you say we just play bad, but when it comes to those turnovers, you got to take care of football. You know, the ball on the ground a lot, and that's just being careless with the football. And, um, and I always tell our guys that, say, dream DGA, we talk about our dream goals and aspiration, all that is in that, that ball for everyone on this football team. Better job of taking care of everybody's dream, goals, and aspirations uh, with this team. But uh, again, it was good that our guys responded. You know, I mean, they had the momentum. It's, sometimes it's tough when the team get a momentum, especially like they did. Uh, but it was great to see our guys again not flinching and regain the momentum. You know, and that's two weeks in a row where our guys have done that. And uh, again, that's not the way we want to be every week. But it's, it's great to see that our football team can do that. And, Need to, and like I said, again, it's not good that you got four turnovers, but it's good to have four turnovers and score 42 points. It's, you know, Take one more for coach, and we'll get players in here. Augie Sanchez was around the quarterback all night tonight. Uh, thoughts on his play, and what do you think of that? Um, I think I ticked him off before the, before the game, <laughs> so I would start doing that every game now. But uh, again, he just played—he played big time. He played like a leader's supposed to. You know, he's all over the field. Over the field. I think the thing I was more impressed with is his enthusiasm that he was playing with. I mean, he was flying around, he was jumping around, having fun. And when I played that way, the rest of the guys respond. You know, and I think that's what we saw to our defense. You know, the same thing in our offense. When Quentin made plays, everybody else respond. You know, and both of those guys were leaders on our team. And our team, their teammates uh, respond.